What is going on guys? Welcome to your 32nd PHP project video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be handling the page that you know whenever we sent them the confirmation email and gave them a link to click on to finish registering their account well this is the page that handles that information pretty much this is the page that we linked them to so the first thing that we want to do is we want to include a link to the database so this file right here can connect to it so let's go ahead and include a link and I probably could have copied this includes slash connect.php now the reason we even want to connect to the database is because if everything goes smoothly and they you know didn't mess up the registration or anything then what the script is basically going to do is it's going to take the information from their temporary users database or table and it's going to insert it into the permanent users table and that way we know that okay you have valid email you're not a spammer you can go ahead and use the site so I'm going to be doing a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is validate the email. The email that we sent, we want to make sure it's an email. And actually what I did already is, if you remember, I hate typing out regular expressions because they are super long and complicated and I actually need to, you know, kind of sit and think about it. I went ahead and I typed out the whole thing right here. And what this regular expression is, again, it's going to be available for a download or you can just copy it right now. What this does is it just checks whatever string was passed through the URL and it verifies that it is indeed an email format. There are no weird symbols, you need that at sign, so on and so forth. So that's a regular expression where it's going to pull the email from the URL and verify that it is indeed an email format and if so, it's going to store that in the variable email. Did I say email? Email. Eh, tomato, tomato, same thing. So the next thing that we want to do is, remember, two pieces of information were passing through the URL, the email and their secret key, their unique key specific to them. So let's go ahead and handle that key right now. Finish up my if statement. So we want to check one of two things. First, does that key exist? Did it indeed get passed in through the URL? So we just want to check is set which pretty much means does a variable exist and the variable whenever we're grabbing it from the URL is dollar underscore get and we named this key in case you uh, don't remember now the next thing we want to do is we want to check the length of this key now since we made this key using an MD5 hash all MD5 hashes are 32 characters long so what we want to do is take the length of this key and make sure it's equal to 32. So what I want to do is actually put this whole thing in parentheses because we're going to be using a couple functions here. The first one, whenever you want to get the length of a string, strlen it stands for string length. Now, the parameter it takes is what variable or what string do you want to measure. So actually, I'm going to copy this baby right here. String length of the key and what we want to do is we want to make sure it's exactly equal to 32 characters long. If so, then this is going to be true and this is going to be true. So this code is going to run. So what we're basically doing is we just want to test that they didn't, you know, try to hack our website and enter any of their weird own keys, you know, just trying to mess around, do anything stupid. And by the way, on the top of, of hacking, I want to mention this. I know that, you know, a couple things are missing here. This might be, you know, vulnerable to cross-site scripting or SQL SQL injection, or maybe, you know, for example, my passwords aren't hashed. At the end of this series, I'm going to be going over the entire website and making it 100% secure. So even though you guys are like, you know what, your passwords aren't hashed right now, I'm going to wait to handle all of the security stuff for the end because security is a topic that's going to take multiple tutorials and I just don't want to, you know, scatter it across. I want to focus on it. So that's why I'm saving all the security stuff. Going to get the website working and then we're going to secure it. That's the way I make my websites and it's the easiest way, especially when I'm making tutorials and I have to teach you guys about it. So next, what I want to do is I want to set that variable that we pulled down from the URL equal to the variable key. So let me just go ahead and copy this cheat a little bit and we're going to change this to key. So 
in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is actually checking querying the database and making sure that um, pretty much a row exists where the email equals this and the key equals that pretty much the user's information and we're going to be moving it from the temporary table to the permanent table so just remember in this tutorial we pretty much validated that it was indeed the correct URL and the first step is complete and they didn't try to hack our website so far so grab the email from the URL and grab the key from the URL and if it's indeed valid information then store it in these variables so now these variables should be good so we're ready to move on to the next part and uh, we'll touch on that in the next video so thanks for watching and I'll see you then